Culture eats strategy for breakfast. Organizations are only as effective as their leaders. Many leaders unknowingly undermine their teams and their organization's performance. Many leaders underestimate the impact their behavior has on their teams. And many leaders don't realize that even subtle changes can have transformational impacts on their performance. I made some of the same mistakes as a corporate executive myself. Executive coaching helped me see things differently and make subtle but transformational changes. And now I'm helping the same executive leaders like yourself. Executive leadership can be an isolated and lonely position. Are you often wondering what other executives are doing to address these same problems? Do you think about how you're showing up for your team and how you're helping or hindering their performance? You probably have very few confidants with whom you can be truly vulnerable. So who is this for? You are like many of my clients if you believe that despite your success, you have much more potential and you want to challenge the status quo, are looking for every performance edge you can get. Also, you believe your team is capable of more and you believe the phrase, culture eats strategy for breakfast. You also know what got you here may not get you there and you believe in investing in yourself as a great bet. My clients are executives looking to elevate their own and their team's performance. Managers and directors looking to break into the C-suite. And business owners looking to take their business to the next level of success. If you are results oriented and you know you can go further with help, believe in the value and importance of trust and don't like to reinvent the wheel, you're growth oriented and a lifelong learner. If you believe in building strong teams and value self-awareness, my clients believe they have much more upside potential and are always looking for fresh perspectives. Is the status quo working for you? Do you feel locked into an insular perspective? Do you feel like you have unidentified blind spots impeding your performance? And or are you looking for a step change in your performance trajectory? So what are some common misconceptions about leadership? One, my team will tell me if something is wrong. Two, I'll be forgiven for mistakes without addressing them. And another common one is, I'll have a chance to address issues before it's too late. I had some misconceptions about coaching as well. Was it too expensive? Was I being fixed in some way? Was I being forced into coaching by someone higher up? These are some of the misconceptions I had as an executive. So here's my personal story. I became a CPA on a dare from a friend because I happened to be good at accounting. And from there I worked up the ranks into the CFO uh, level position. I realized along the way that leadership was my true passion and ended up becoming CEO. Along the way, I've witnessed a lot of great people and great leaders and some bad behavior too. Most of the situations that I saw were blind spots or unintentional behaviors that undermine performance. In many cases, leaders didn't realize it. In many of my roles, I was afforded the great benefit of executive coaching, which helped me to see my blind spots my coaches helped me develop self-awareness and navigate important relationships and challenges and really run my own game. I always refer to my coaches as my secret weapon. When I left the C-suite, my intention was to help those teams by helping their leaders better support those teams and elevate their performance. So here's a framework I developed to help leaders achieve their full potential. One, a three-part coaching process. Two, four-stage elevation path and three tools for implementation. First, we map out your intended future, figure out your goals and vision. Second, we do profile assessments like Myers-Briggs, MBTI, and 360 feedback analysis. And third, we develop an action plan, including follow-ups, helping you stay accountable to your plan. Going into the four stages of elevated performance, it starts at a foundation which is 80% of the game, diet, sleep, exercise. Reflection, figuring out what you really want, journaling, meditation, 360 feedback, elevating your effectiveness, which is doing more with less, developing a process you can trust, self-accountability tools, delegation and building a support system. And finally, elevating your game to the next level, setting stretch goals and dreaming up your designed future, expanding out of your comfort zone, changing flawed mental models, 
and creating sustainable peace of mind and confidence. One thing that's so important is how do you actually go about making these changes? We can read all the books and hear all the great concepts, but how do you actually go about changing your behavior on a day-to-day -day basis? This is where the tools come in. So this is why my clients want coaching, to, to create their future, which is far elevated from the default future. Some of the benefits of coaching, um, faster career trajectory, achieve business goals more quickly and consistently, gain clarity of vision of what's truly what you want and what's authentic to you, develop improved self-awareness, improve culture. And again, culture eats strategy for breakfast. So an improved culture equals performance. Tap into your potential. Turning accountability into a core competency. Reducing risk of staff turnover. Improve your communications. And most importantly, enhancing trust and leadership, which equals performance. So what makes my coaching different? I've been there 20 plus years executive experience, so I know what you're going through. My coaching is based on stoicism and mindfulness principles as well as modern coaching training. And I've got the tools and the passion to use the analytics that are necessary to implement the changes. And they can be customized for each unique situation. So all the greats have coaches. Jordan, Brady, Steve Jobs. They all know that getting the right guidance is critical to achieving full potential. So take the next step. Book a call with me, no obligation coaching session. We'll get right into it figure out your goals, aspirations, and we'll figure out if we're a right fit to work together.